हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पीली देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर स्पोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डेट इन्फॉर्मेशन दिज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग गो टू गूगल डॉट कॉम and search to naropinions.com and open this site here you can see the latest news dinar opinions and dinar guru updates on a single page so visit this site for more information we've heard this about different currencies iraq's going to be trading outside the dollar they're going to be using different currencies they're going to be on a level playing field Iraq's been working through an international interconnectivity system the ITC. The World Bank, the Bank of International Settlements, the central banks of the world. The Federal Reserve Bank. It isn't just a push the button situation, it's a complex process. Article Al Basri, we have complete information about exchange rate speculators and we arrested 22 accused of corruption. We have some very interesting chatter this evening. I have gotten this from many banking sources that they are expecting instructions very soon, specifically instructions for foreign currency exchanges. This is the event that we are looking for. I have heard this now from three different banking sources. Nobody knows the exact date. but they are expecting instructions at any moment and are prepared they know it's coming banking people from the mid level up know it's coming and are prepared for it emo this is great news all of a sudden all these moves and all this reforming and all these new systems and all this training is starting to make sense don't you think We've been hearing about the banks getting trained for a long time. We've been hearing about all kinds of different reforms. But now you see why. They're getting ready to finally be free, hopefully get their sovereignty back and be allowed to trade and do business on the international level. This is going to make a world of difference with the Iraqi people as well as their currency. Article JP Morgan lends Iraq 257 million dollars to maintain power facilities. I am hearing they want things completed and fully active and everything done by January for that to happen it could go any day. Article quote The governor of the central bank Al Alaq failed to control the rise in the dollar exchange rate. Don't panic. Alok has nothing to do with what's going on. He's not doing a very good job. He's a very good guy, a hard worker, doing whatever he can, but I think this job is too big for him to handle. I would not be surprised if he got fired. I would not be sad either. He cannot handle the job. He should do something else. He's not good at controlling things. He can't control the CBI. It's too big for him. I'm not saying they're going to fire him. Maybe not. Maybe he's going to get his shit together and do a better job, but don't panic. This has nothing to do with what's going on. Remember, we started with an MR that led to an RV that leads today to an RD that will lead to an international float. Now, when it gets to the point of the float, a supply and demand of the iraqi dinar will determine which exchange rate of the rv they cap it at dinar story james 1 a gentleman came up definitely someone that had it all together and in a bit of conversation he told us his job i don't want to speak of the agency let's say this is a banking agency that is one of the top 3 agencies banks need in order to function James 1 very good 
This man was former special ops, has retired, and is doing a lot of work with a U.S. agency that all banks around the world have to coordinate with. There was some small talk and conversation and then it was, what do you know about the Iraqi dinar? He smiled and he said well I know quite a bit about it, it's no secret in the banking world. The Iraqi dinar is about to be reinstated. He gave me the rate. Do you want me to give the rate? No. James won, he said any day has potential but he said definitely before 2024. He said everything is done and there is a date. Now, he didn't say what it was but he was very forthcoming. He said it's no secret. This is about to happen, he was so confident of the rate. I come from a military background too, when someone from the special ops says something you don't question. There's no doubting this guy's information, we're presenting it as a rumor but I'm not doubting his rumor.